I seldom watch TV and as for a movie well I don't have the attention span first of all to sit for two hours like that unless something really has my interest plus I feel like I could be doing something more productive with my time nonetheless people have encouraged me to check out the Joker movie and so despite the fact that I had to do it in increments over the weekend I sat down to watch it and I suppose it was a fascinating um, film to just objectively observe somebody's descent into the darker side of the depths of their illness. And I suppose one of the main parts of the film that resonated with me or that struck a chord was a line that was written in the Joker's book. And that was um, that the worst thing with mental illness is that people expect you to act like as if you don't. And as I said, that really struck a chord with me. I think there's been a massive shift in the spotlight being put on mental and emotional illness in recent years. And definitely some of the stigma has been removed. However, oftentimes I do feel there's almost a glamorization of it, particularly on social media platforms, which isn't always a very good reflection of reality and can make things even a little bit more intimidating and difficult for the people who are struggling to get help and for the people who are in their lives, in their immediate circle, to know how to help them. Because ultimately, uh, mental illness manifests itself in many undesirable ways and oftentimes can make a person very hard to tolerate. And that sounds cruel, but that is the reality of it. I mean, oftentimes they can be um, unpredictable, irresponsible, unreliable. They can be completely withdrawn. They can be very down all the time. They can be very irritable, very snappy. And, you know, it, it, it is hard to tolerate. It is hard to always have that compassion. And I think a better understanding of some of the realities of dealing with mental health issues will help people know how to deal with it it'll equip equip the loved ones of people who are suffering with the skills necessary and the information and the education and the tolerance required to show up for the the person in their lives that is ill or who is suffering but in a way that contains boundaries that protects them you know and uh, likewise for the person who is suffering um they need to be educated in ways in which to um better uh, express what it is that they're feeling because ultimately all of those behaviors are driven from a place of massive pain massive guilt massive shame massive insecurity and it's just that it's been misdirected you know it's just that there has never been an outlet for it or they've never been able to tap into it or to process it properly and as a result it just kind of festers inside and it just either lashes out or you know makes you want to withdraw from your life completely and again, it's kind of understanding that, understanding that there is nothing glamorous about mental health issues, but there is a way forward with them, both for the person who is suffering and for the people in their immediate circle. It's all about education. It's all about better understanding. And it's all about um, people being more aware of the reality as opposed to what it is that people like to post on their social media. So if you are struggling with your mental health or indeed if there's somebody in your life who you is struggling and you want to be able to help them a little bit better, you want to equip yourself with tools to be compassionate but to also maintain boundaries, get in touch with me. On the website it's fundamentals.ie and you'll also catch me on my facebook and instagram both of those pages are called fundamentals i do lots of content just like this video on my youtube channel which is fiona feely go check it out like share and subscribe and hope everyone has an amazing day